Welcome back, viewers. This episode is a very special episode, for it involves my one and only Lord. Who is this Lord, you may say? Well, we'll find out in a minute. Or two, depending on how long it takes this damn loading screen to end. Uh, now, I know what some of y'all are thinking. Why don't you just install the game onto your Xbox? It's already installed and the loading screens still take forever. So, yeah. I'm way smarter than you, random person who asked me to do something I already did. Okay, so... Eh, yeah, fuck that guy. Hey, you! You... you help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. What do you need? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Uh... How can I find your master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no. Such people like once then, I'm going that way anyways. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Why don't you leave your master? Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. All right, then. So, now we've picked up a new quest. The Mind of Madness. Well, this should narrow down who my one true lord is. Considering... How many... Daedric Princes are batshit mad. Well, actually, the one that I just did the mission for with the dog, I guess he could be considered batshit mad. Considering the dog's like his conscience or something. I don't know, sometimes the roles are switched around. I know an Oblivion the dog tried to convince you to do something otherwise, like keep the blade for yourself. You just go on and hang out there. Yeah. Hey, you. Do you have business <clears throat> in court? House is already decorated to completed. To completed. Needed to the Absolutely Pegasus Fleet. Not. That wing has been seized for hundreds. You know whether you tell me I'm not allowed in there or not, I'm still getting in there. Say the ghost of I don't need your permission. This is just a formality. Ghost or not. There are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. I'll make an exception for you, but do not bring anything out when you leave. Too many dark deeds transpired in those halls. Well, that was nice, quick, and easy. Yeehaw, bitch. I mean, literally, this was all just a formality. I don't need his permission to go anywhere. I could have just crouched and pickpocketed the key off of him. But you don't need to know that. So yeah, we need into the Pegasus Wing. And I think I'm just gonna stay crouched just in case shit goes down. Rather cobwebby. It's a macabre flash of dick. I wish I could kill my enemy cat, saber tooth dicks that decide to attack me at. What the fuck? Did I manage to die or something? What? 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 The fuck am I wearing? Right me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many 
the undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. But dear, sweet, homicidally insane villages. What would the... <laughs> Responsibilities and burdens. Bah. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. I'm here to deliver a message. Really? Oh, oh what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know! A death threat. Written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my faces. <laughs> well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't gotten it. Ah, Shagorath, we all love Actually, you. Actually, I do. <sighs> Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Where you now? By who? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Bolag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! <laughs> nice Christmas oh, carol quote you just did there, Shagora. Uh, no matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. You're a madman! That's only good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. THE mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, you can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being played alive. <laughs> And having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. If not, then call me Shayagora, Daedric, Prince of Madness. Charm. So... Does that mean you'll leave or not? Now that's the... So, Oops. here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete! Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Okay, what's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not... I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head 
of a dead, homicidally insane monarch? <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabatak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? And we now have the Wabajack. So, there are three gates we can choose. I'll go on this one. The Wabajack, what it does is kind of like the... Wild dogs, the undead. Pumpernickel. But the deepest... This will help better explain the attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. See this Imperial Deuce? BAM! The Wabajack transforms people. I wonder if it works on ghosts. Oh, he's already small. Nope, don't work on ghosts. I have no clue what's going on here. Look how tiny this thing is. Anger, confidence, self doubt, another self doubt. Let's see what happens if I hit self confidence with it. Oh, confidence is getting bigger. Now I think while you're in here, the Wobjack has unlimited use. I think. I can't say for sure. Well, that's one down. But the, what the the Wobbajack is truly the weapon of the Mad God. It does some random ass shit. Really random ass shit. I think in the last game, depending Definitely on what you down. hit, it'll randomly <laughs> choose a different anim a different for you, Pelagius, form for it. From a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. There! The third! And now it's a sheep! What the fuck? I just got assassinated. <laughs> I was not expecting that one. Just tell us some... Hey, how you doing? I just got fucking destroyed. And how far back am I? Really far back. Alright, I'll meet y'all back when I get to that puzzle. Welcome back, viewers. Taking care of turning that Thurg into a Gert. And it's a Gert. 
the burger gert. I'm just waiting for that other asshole to appear. You know, the one that kind of assassinated my ass. Hey, butterfly. You just ran up and destroyed my face. Damn! You're just out of nowhere. <laughs> I, whew, I was not expecting that one. <laughs> 